Hey guys, welcome to the Python exercise series for the interview. Let's see our very first question on the Python exercise. So let's see the question. Write a Python program that takes name as input from the user and counts the occurrences of each character in the name. Finally, print the character counts. So here our focus is count the occurrences of each character present in the name. For example, if the user is giving an input, let's say my name Rakesh Kumar is the input. Here my output should say R in the name present two times, A in the name present two times, M is present one time. Like that I have to get an output. So let's see how this can be done. Before that, in case you have not subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel for more such contents that are going to come on my channel. So let's get started and see how this can be done. All right. So the very first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a variable called a where I'm going to ask for the input from the user and I'm going to say enter your name. Okay. So this is the input which the user is going to provide. Then I'm going to create a simple blank dictionary. So how do you declare a dictionary, blank dictionary by writing two curly braces. Okay. So this is a blank dictionary. Now remember dictionary contains two things. Dictionary contains what? Two things. One is the key. For example, it will have a key and then it is going to have a value. Right. So this is how let me comment this. Okay, so I got the key and value in a dictionary. So this is a blank dictionary I have declared. After that, let's look through the name. I'll use four X in the variable A. A contains what? The name. So I'm going to loop through the name. So once it loops, what would happen? The very first thing, for example, let's take some name here so that it will be easy to understand this. So here is the name Rakesh Kumar. So here the first time when the loop comes, the character R will be carried to the x variable right now what i'm going to do i will write a if condition if x in if x not present in d so d is what not in d d is what d is a dictionary so i'm saying if x is not present in d that means when the loop first time it runs r is not present because dictionary is blank so x is not present in d then what you do then in the dictionary Right. So here dictionary means the value R will come here and I'm going to say set the value to 1. So that means R is 1 now. Let's say in the next time when the loop runs, let's say the R is coming once again somewhere. Okay. If the one R comes once again, what would happen that time what I want? I want the dictionary value right, to become plus equals to 1. So it will increase by 1 plus equals to 1 means it will a is equal to a plus 1 is what the same thing x plus equals to 1 means it is going to increase the value. So it increase the continually it is going to increase the value. Now let us see the output ok. Let us see the output I am going to say print and I am going to print the entire dictionary. So I will simply say d. So let us save it and f5. So here I am going to enter the name and you can see it said r is 1. There is something wrong here capital R is counted one and the small r is counted one getting it here a is counted properly k is counted properly see the k is also not counted properly because it is taking uppercase differently lowercase differently. So how to avoid this situation now to avoid this situation all you can do simply write a method called lower dot lower ok. So I am going to write this dot lower function and let us see the output now. Okay, now the count is coming properly. R coming two time, A coming two time, K coming two time. What if I wanted an uppercase rather than lowercase? It's quite simple. I'm going to write this way, save it, and do a F5. Okay, now the output is coming. Now here I'm asking you another question. Hey, your output is coming in one line. I want this to be printed one by you know one below the other. 
one below the other okay now for that we can go through a loop once again so for example i'll say 4 x in the dictionary now i'm going to loop through the dictionary d here how to write look at it i'm going to show you two different methods to write one is you can do like this if i'm going to write print x what happens print x means x is what it is going to only show the key values r a k so if i'm writing this look at it if i'm doing a f5 let's run it so what it is printing it is only printing the keys it is only printing the keys it is not printing the values what would happen if i'm going to write d and in the square bracket i'm going to write x okay so let's give it an input so it is only printing the values now so you understood if if you are writing x it is printing the keys if you are writing dictionary and doing that then it is printing the values so let's do the combination of both pretty simple so i will say x and then put a comma and within double quote i'll put a colon mark okay and give a space before that after that okay so this is how i'm writing let's print it f5 okay i forgot a comma here okay fine save f5 so now it is printing properly so this is one way of getting the output there is also another way i'm going to show you for example have you heard about formatting so the formatting can be done in python by simply writing a f okay here i'm writing a f and double quote inside that instead of putting you can see here i'm putting comma comma two two times let's say i want to avoid that this is a pretty simple way mostly used so here i'm going to write in curly braces i'm going to write the variable and then give a space put a colon mark give a space no commas are used here pretty simple and then i'm going to write the next variable which is this one okay this is also another way of writing and printing the value so let's see the output okay even this is giving me the proper output even the space is counted remember that okay so everything is coming properly so thank you guys for watching now if you need such exercises for your interview preparation please do subscribe to the channel do not forget to subscribe and please do give it a like and share with your friends thank you